Here with Coach Tom Wilson of the Downland Catholic Maroons. Coach, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, you're four and one to start the year. I've I talked with Coach Pollock last night, and I was like, you know, what were his thoughts on the year? And he said we're kind of surprised because you know you lost a lot last year, and you come into this season and you have a couple returners. But how would you rate how the season would start? You're four and one, a young roster, one of your younger rosters you've had. Where do you like where you're sitting right now? I really think our kids have done a pretty good job as a whole. You know, obviously, uh, our schedule, along with, you know, some of the others, uh, Centennial included, uh, you know, we get to, to play the best of the best in the, in the state of Iowa and especially uh, central Iowa. So coming through that it certainly isn't easy. And, and uh, you know, uh, playing uh, Kennedy in week one and getting a win there, uh, felt good about that, obviously. Uh, getting a, a win versus Valley in overtime. Uh, I still think uh, they may be, you know, the best team in the state, clearly uh, one of the best teams in the state. Uh, losing to Ankeny uh, was uh, certainly tough. We got outplayed that night. Um, and then uh, uh, winning at Northwest and then beating Roosevelt. You know, we've seen our share of good teams um, in the last few weeks. So obviously we feel pretty good. We think there's a lot of things we can still get better at. Uh, but it's kind of tough to tell if you're getting better or not against some of these teams. Let's talk about Ankeny Centennial here on Friday night. Very good football team. They can run the ball well. I think that's something that's really stuck out. Uh, what are a couple things you've guys been honing in here on practice this week when it comes to facing the Jags here on Friday night? Yeah, very few weaknesses uh, as we see, and and I know they had the the loss to Southeast Polk, but we know what Southeast Polk has has been like for the last several years, and uh, just kind of shows the parity around our area of the state. Um, you know, you mentioned their run game. I think they're very good up front. Um, obviously, they have. Um, skill guys always have skill guys but I really think they've got an experienced front on offense which helps them and um, you know obviously I, I think their running backs probably get most of the the attention but I think they certainly have some capable receivers um, quarterback has done a really nice job so uh, they're a they're a handful uh, with their offense and then defensively I think their d-line is really good um, linebacker wise um, you know, some of those guys played a year ago as well. Um, and I think they're very good and look to be, you know, solid in the back end. Um, so as I mentioned, um, don't see a lot of weaknesses. They happen to have a terrific kicker as well, um, who can, uh, looks, I think he's hit one from 52 yards, um, end zones, the, uh, kickoffs quite a bit. So, um, looks like a really, really good team. You've coached against a lot of coaches and un or fortunately here in the CIML, they've been here a long time. You know, you've been here with a lot of the coaches with the Pizzettis, you know, tell me what it's like that it's that common opponent. You'll always face the Pizzettis when you get to Centennial or in the back in the day, it was Ankeny, but what's it been like to be across the sideline from those guys uh, for so many years? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a lot of years now. And I, I just think they really do a good job and, and uh, year after year, they're going to have a quality team and, and, you know, they're going to run the football and, and play great defense and, and always have, you know, the aforementioned kicker that I, that I talked about, but uh, you know, obviously uh, they've won a lot of games. Jerry's won, God knows how many. And then obviously Ryan's been with him uh, for many, many. So um, they do a great job. That whole staff does. Um, as I mentioned, looks like a really complete football team. And irregardless of what happens in this ball game, uh, they're going to be a team that's uh, going to be reckoned with uh, come postseason. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. I got to quickly say it since I haven't been able to talk to you since I've seen it, but the new logo looks great. I don't know how much input you had on the new logo, but I think it looks great. It's a good addition for Dowling. No, I appreciate that. And and uh, obviously we'll still stay with the crest with the yeah. school itself, but athletically it's the DC cross. We like it too. So I'll pass that on. All right. I appreciate it, Coach. Good luck to you and the Maroons here on Friday night. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.